Hey, what's up? It's Annika and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be making my second ever additional payment to my gigantuan private student loan. If you're new here, then welcome. I take you along my journey to paying off over $229,000 in debt. And in case you missed it, last May, May of 2021, I made my first ever snowball payment towards my private student loan. And that was my first ever additional payment. And that's been my only one because 2021 was like a complete whirlwind. I actually did um, a recap of how I did on my 2021 financial goals. Um, did a whole video on that. Did another video on my 2022 financial goals. So make sure you go ahead and check those out. But one of my goals was to make an extra payment every single month of 2022 to my private student loan. So trying to stay on track of that and it's it's so annoying to do it. It's not easy per se. No matter what, I have to contact them in either by chat or like by calling them to make my additional payments go towards the principal balance. Like there's no way I can just automate that and I have to transfer money into my checking account with the bank that's holding the loan so like make it make sense these banks are making it so difficult to earn more money and for us to pay back our loans like ugh, it's just infuriating like i could literally cry about it like i'm not going to even though i want to but like i'm just oh so prior to this video i already gave my bank a call because i originally wanted to make my extra payment towards the loan but then, um, cause I kind of forgot the process of like what I did in May and that person had me do a completely different thing than what I did last time. Make um, an extra payment towards my student loan, but I wanted to make sure that the payment went towards the principal balance. You already have the funds in your first checking account? No, I pay from um, an external account. Yeah, we can't take a principal payment directly from the external account or it'll just be applied like as a regular payment. Like, I just like want to scream on the top of my lungs because <laughs> this is just so stupid. Like, I am just, I'm pissy about it. So I gave them a call like probably a week, a week ago, I think. Um, and they were like, well, first you have to transfer into our membership savings account with the bank. And then I can transfer from them that savings account to the student loan account. And then I have to contact them and tell them to put it towards principal balance instead of just kind of like throwing it at the interest um, because we want principal balance payments here. So at, in that exact moment, I transferred $1,000 from my exterior account into this other savings account and that took i think five days to process five days like it didn't have to do with the amount or anything it just had to do with like being slow and like processing and like being approved or something i just it is so infuriating like and now i have to jump through these hoops every single time i want to make an extra payment like I have to first transfer, I have to wait for the transfer to go through, and then I have to make another transfer, and then I have to contact the bank every single time. I honestly might refinance again. I've already refinanced this loan like two, two times. If it's gonna be this difficult, like SoFi, I kid you not. <laughs> SoFi mails me like every month refinance again. I could potentially maybe get like a better interest rate. So right now my current balance is $161,419.23. And my last payment was um, in December and that was just my normal um, minimum payment that's required and already automatically taken out, which is the $1,369.95. So if we look at the statement out of my $1,300 payment, only $747.50 of it went towards principal. The rest, $622.45 went towards interest. <gasps> okay, my annual percentage rate is the 4.67%. It used to be higher, I think with SoFi it was like 7% or something stupid. And then I thought like this was the lowest I could ever get because my loan amount is so high. And I have seen other people on YouTube who post about their loans that they had a, a similar amount as me, although they did have some grad loans. 
So I feel like I don't know what it is if like undergrad versus grad if that makes a difference or if it just falls under the same student loan category. I don't know. Um, if you know the answer to that, please feel free to comment and let me know. But yeah, so I still have over 161K. My interest rate's 4.67 and almost half of my payment is going towards interest alone. Okay, so now this is actually my $1,000 from December that again, it's like since it takes so long to freaking process and I didn't really know like the full protocol and everything, like now I'm just now making that payment. My $1,000 that I had from December is now going to be applied as an extra payment. So let me go and do my transfer. To make a principal only payment, call us. I don't wanna call you. Ugh. This is just so unbelievably stupid. We're in the year 2022 and I have to call you. Please, please make a principal balance payment. You're calling to make a payment, right? Yes. Representative. Thank you for calling. I'm gonna try and be nice to this person, of course, like they're just doing their job. Like granted, I get it's not a big deal. It's a phone call. I'm so thankful to be able to put extra money towards my student loan. But like in the bigger picture, it just pisses me off that this isn't easier and like the banks take so much of my money. I wanted to make um, an additional payment towards my student loan and have it go towards principal. Okay, yes, uh, of course, you do not have access to make principal payments. Is it okay if I get you over to an account specialist for further assistance? Yes. My wait is two minutes, and I've already been waiting for seven minutes. It takes ten minutes just to reach someone. <laughs> if I have to go through this every time, I'm taking y'all with me. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing today? I'm fine, how are you? I wanted to make an additional payment towards the principal balance of my student loan. How much on principal do you want to make towards it? Uh, 1000 Alright, so you are all set. Your payment has been made. So 1000 has been put toward, straight to the principal balance. Alright, thank you. Um, well, how long should, I, should it take to reflect on my dashboard? Okay, all right. Is there a direct number for this this line? Um, it's still known. The best way to do it is still just call the eight five five number. That's just that is us, like in the contact center. Any one of us can call once you get through. I think it's like you said, it is a little bit busier today now that it's Friday. But well, the eight five five number is the best. The first person I talked to said they couldn't help me and they had to send me to the principal people. Oh, really? Thank you. I literally hate making small talk. Like, I never want to be mean or, like, annoying to the person. And, like, I know they're literally just doing their job and they deal with people yelling at them probably all day long. And, like, I don't want to be that person. But, like, I don't want to sit here and tell you how my day's going. My day is annoying because I have to call you. Like... <laughs> I know that there's nothing they can do about that, but it's just like, okay. So now I have to wait for it to reflect on my dashboard. She said it would take like a minute or two. So for my December statement, it says, my interest charge year to date was $7,784.17. So almost 8K going to the bank just for funsies. Okay, I had to get a jacket, but I was freezing in here. It's a brisk 60 degrees in Florida today, but um, <sighs> okay, my $1,000 payment went through. My balance is now at $160,419.23. So, I mean, obviously it went down the exact $1,000. And that's so exciting because now I'm about to hit another milestone. So after my minimum payment goes through, it usually goes through on like the 23rd-ish. I'll be under 160 k So... I'll be that much closer to being under 150k and then going I guess downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, that's super exciting. Thanks for coming along with me through that painful process, but I mean, it's going down and I just 
I just want to see it, see it keep going down. So if you stuck around this whole video, thank you so much. Make sure to follow along on my debt-free journey and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.